Well, here you have it on a creep factor from 1 to 10. This is an 11. Here again is Kanye West's latest installment on mocking Jesus Christ. Uh, a lot of people say, well, no, no, it's, it's allegory because, you know, Jesus causes us to rise up above the storm and gives us the power to walk on water. No, I'm going to have to disagree on this. This is a spectacle. It's a blasphemous spectacle from a man who has yet to bring forth fruit meat for repentance. We'll get to that in just a second. But here's Kanye and his kids walking out, walking on water. Of course, nothing more than a billionaire who has the money to construct an underwater dock so that his brainwashed choir can first walk out. And then we'll get to Joel Olstein in just a second. But then here, here comes the guest of honor at his own party, walking on water. He's a genius, isn't he? He's, he's brilliant. And if you can detect the sarcasm in my voice, uh, that's good because I am doing it purposefully. I am tired of Kanye West and this man's attempt, uh, not attempt, his actual ability to continually mock Jesus Christ pretending to be Christian. Now, as if this spectacle wasn't creepy enough, <laughs> we were also joined by Captain Smiley himself, you know, word of faith, prosperity, gospel king, you know, many paths to heaven, blaspheming Joel Osteen. Uh, he announced the coming of Kanye walking on water, which again, the creep factor is off the scale. Uh, but ironically, while attempting to give some kind of a sermon, uh, Joel Osteen only proved again his absolute biblical illiteracy. Uh, listen to what he says and let's refute it. So uh, here we go. Right off the bat, he says, uh, he sucks up to Kanye. He says, I can't invent like Kanye. So, yeah, he's giving praise to Kanye. We all know Kanye's a genius, right? He's a creative genius. Well, how do we know that? Well, because Kanye tells you every day that he is. And this guy, lapping it up, participating in this blasphemy. God doesn't put a dream in your heart and did not give you the ability to do it. I've learned in life, you have to choose between your comfort and your calling. Peter heard the calling. Come on out here. But Peter was comfortable in the boat. He starts talking, of course, about the story. We're going to read this in Matthew. That Jesus called Peter out of the boat. And he said, Peter was comfortable in the boat. Is that is that accurate? Let's go read what it said. In the book of Matthew, chapter 14, we can read what happened. Let's start in verse 26. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit, and they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, I'm comfortable here in the boat. Don't, no, no, Peter didn't say that. Peter said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. Peter wanted to come out to meet the Lord on the sea. He wasn't comfortable in the boat. So yet again, Captain Smiley uh, butchering the scripture to make it fit into his narrative. It's ridiculous. You know, one of the saddest aspects of all this that you will see is the brainwashed followers defending Kanye West yet again. They want so bad for this man to be legit. But we can easily determine that he is not, that this is indeed yet another chapter of blasphemy. Let's take a look. Here is, I'm going to show you some images of where he came from. Here, of course, is Kanye wearing his satanic clothing. 
let's not forget about his blasphemous videos. In this particular one, I believe this was power having to do with some sort of a holy war, but certainly to include images of idolatry, fornication, lasciviousness, pretty seductive in nature with uh, even the very medallion he's wearing has to do with Horus, uh, but quite blasphemous. And, and of course, he putting himself in the center of it in between the pillars. It's insane. Here he's on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine with a crown of thorns. Are you seeing a pattern here? Well, even since his alleged conversion, now he's walking on water. Here he's wearing the crown of thorns. Is he? Did you get the idea he's trying to replace somebody? Does this look normal? Of course, this again, to be fair, this is previous to his alleged conversion, but we're establishing where he was, even with the hand signs here. And don't forget, of course, the delightful little family concerts that he did, right? Where he brought up uh, a Jesus figure onto the stage and they had discourse and he mocked Jesus in front of tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people. Later put on video where hundreds of millions of people have viewed this mockery. Rubbing shoulders with the famous and elite here, of course, dingbat Scientologist and all-around Fruit Loop Tom Cruise flashing the signs because, yeah, even the Scientologists are in on it. They just have a different label, but they all rub shoulders. Now, to those of you that are viewing these images, and you're arguing the point. Yeah, but Drew, you know, he's converted. He's come over to Christ. He's put all this behind him. Has he? Have you ever once seen this man bring forth fruit, meat for repentance, even according to Scripture? And the answer is no. And I could most assuredly tell you, anybody who came to Christ, who truly found the treasure that is Jesus Christ, in the precious salvation and the love of Christ, would surely come forth immediately and renounce the outright satanic life and lifestyle that this man was leading and separate himself from it with tears and anguish. Having found the truth in Christ, he surely would have renounced all this wholeheartedly and with great vigor. But you never saw that, did you? This is why I contend with this man. He went from pure Satanism into a new phase, apparently, where now he claims to embrace Christ, but still just winds up mocking Jesus. I don't believe it because he's never fully separated from this nonsense, from this Satanism. Again, understanding that this man also, I mean, put this into perspective. This man has married the world's greatest living, most popular horror that's ever lived on the earth, hands down, especially with technology. This is a woman right here who rose to fame when her own mother released an amateur sex tape, and she became famous by being an actual whore. And he still is with her while she continues, her and her entire family of whores, continue their lifestyle of debauchery and the tearing down of anything that resembles morals and values, not even approaching anything that could be described as godliness. It's, it's all antichrist, and here he is in the midst of it. And again, I hear the voices of the brainwashed and blind followers who just will not acknowledge that this man is a Satanist mocking Christ. Again, I ask you, where is the genuine repentance? Well, you're very judgy, Drew. I'm not being, I'm, I'm observing, simply observing. And according to scripture, I'm concluding that this man is not a Christian. He is mocking Christ. Look what it says in the book of James chapter 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. 
Well, you see, Drew, we got you, Drew. He's not a friend of the world. Really? He's not a friend of the world. Well, again, using the brain that God gave you, let's take a look and see if he's friends with the world. And believe me, it does not take a tremendous amount of effort to make your determination. Here we are at Kanye's Twitter page. Let's take a look. Giving a shout out to Big Sean. Who's Big Sean? Look, here he is giving a shout out to David Blaine. David Blaine, one of the most satanic modern day magicians on the planet. Not Certainly not living for Christ. There he is giving him a shout out though. Here's a tweet. This is a good start, says Kanye. Kanye, apparently posting a headline, is the highest paid male celebrity in the world. Very happy about this. Wants you to know about all his riches. This, of course, just from September 2nd. Well into his alleged conversion. Look what it says here. Godspeed to my brother, John Wexler. This man changed the game with our Adidas deal and helped to bring Adidas to $62 billion market cap and made me a multi-billionaire. He's very happy about that. Does he thank Jesus? No. He says, thank you, John. You changed my life. John changed his life. Yeah, he sure did. Uh, very incredible. Uh, very concerned with him being front and center, gaining the attention gaining the money, giving shout outs to actual Satanists like David Blaine. Is this meat for repentance? Is this Kanye separating himself from the world? No, it's not. So now I'm going to, as I continue, I'm going to show you uh, some graphic things. So please be warned. Here we are at his wife's Twitter account. Look at this. 66.6 .6 million followers. That's kind of Ironic, isn't it? 666. Six, six. Uh, nevertheless, let's see uh, the uh, alleged Christian Kanye West, his wife, posts from just 18 hours ago. Always pushing her makeup line, her clothing, her lack of clothing, uh, all the narcissism and vanity of living in the world. She'll put a, a little video up of her husband. Isn't that nice? You think she's threatened as as the Satanist that Kim is? Do you think she's threatened by Kanye's version of Christianity? The answer is no, because there's no power there. There's no authority in Christ with Kanye. She tolerates it because she's not convicted. So she puts a lot of posts up there. And then look at, you think she doesn't know that she's mocking? Look at, oh, what does it say? A match made in heaven. Can you see the actual mockery as she sells her body to the world and turning all the women out there and all the little girls into actual whores because they all want to be like her? And again, we get into the inappropriate. So again, this is going to be up to you to decide. Whom will you serve this day? Will you believe this nonsense? Or do you believe that Jesus Christ is holy and calls you out of all this. Whom will you serve? Here we are in Ephesians chapter 5. Let's scroll down. What it says here. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. For you were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. This is what I'm doing right here. Proving to you that these people are not acceptable in what they're doing. It says, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them, expose them. And again, according to scripture, this is what I'm doing, exposing these satanic frauds. Understand also that what you're reading here is a quote from Kanye West. He uttered this at a concert. He confessed that he sold his soul. Was there ever a proclamation of renouncement made by this man for what he did here? No, you never heard it. You just heard one day that you know, he woke up on a, on a morning and, oh, Kanye's a Christian now. But he never repented from the 
outright Satanism that he practiced for years and years and years. It could have been a wonderful testimony if it was true. Considering that he has an audience of billions, how he could have brought uh, a great vast majority to the salvation of Jesus Christ. Uh, talk about a missed opportunity, but we know it really wasn't an opportunity because he never truly came to Jesus Christ. Perhaps it's a an issue or a situation of this man feeling guilty for what he's done, and, and now he's trying to make up for it with works. That's not going to work. Kanye, if you're listening, bring forth fruit, meet for repentance, period, even if it costs you your life. So again, visual seduction from a man who is so filled with narcissism, pomp, and vanity that even though he probably thinks that he came to Christ, he's in vast and great delusion, just simply unable to take himself out of the spotlight. Because again, if his conversion was true, he would have shut his mouth, he would have put himself in the pews of a church to study and learn. And that's all there is to it. This is nothing but satanic nonsense. And for those of you who think you truly love Jesus Christ, you would not defend this man because he simply has no right or authority to keep himself in the spotlight while he knows nothing about the truth of Jesus Christ.